<sighs> Best thing about this future, love? I'm alive. But you're dead as a doornail. Worst thing is, it's those Netherrealm stiffs did you in. Should have been me. Let's have ourselves a do-over. <laughs> You might be alive in this future, but that can change. Let me give you a break. Now this is a pickle. Can you break his neck faster than I can gut, pretty boy? Don't forget. It's two for one. He dies, so does your little girl. Thanks, Kano. For what? For reminding me of the rules. I'm totally stealing that one for time quake. How about uh, dinner sometime? You know, thank you for saving my life. And uh, apologize for being, well, me. No pressure, no romance. Patience is a virtue, Cage. What is that? Special guest villain. Gyrus. Kronika's goon. Allegedly, he can't be killed. I bought a dude like that in Fatal Infinity. <sighs> Get him evac I'll keep this thing occupied. Sonia Blade. Mother of Cassie Cage. Yeah. What of it? Cassie Cage defeated Shinnok. Son of Kronika. I am his mother's vengeance. Stay away from my daughter. Try coming back from this. Okay. I'll be fine. I come from tough stock. Listen, what I said back at the base about the mission, it wasn't fair. You're a damn fine soldier. I'm so proud I can almost picture myself dating Johnny. Almost. I wish I could go back to our last mission over. 
It wasn't easy finding out how I die or could die. But I reread the file. You followed orders, saved your squad. I'm just glad that my sacrifice saved Earthrealm. And you. Besides, you heard Raiden. Things will never go back to what they were. We all have to choose our destiny. Kang and Kung Lao were kidding about this guy. All squads withdraw! Evac! Now! Geras failed. When he returns, I will strengthen him further for the final battle. Speak your mind. We've lost Shao Kahn, his outworld army, and now the Black Dragon. While Raiden's allies have burned precious time fighting Kano and Shao Kahn, our most important work has continued uninterrupted on Shang Tsung's island. That island is in ruins. What could possibly... Timecraft requires an abundance of raw temporal energy. Every mortal soul contains a lifetime of this power. Every hour, every minute, every second lived is stored within. Shang Tsung fed off souls. He collected them. In his well of souls, which remains untouched beneath his island. A destiny I crafted for Shang Tsung, in case I ever had need. Shang Tsung souls will be mine. How's the view? No sign yet of the mystical barrier you mentioned. Oh, you'll know it when it comes. How you feeling? For the first time in a while, in control. I got tossed into the deep end of this world of gods and monsters. But now, knowing my future, I feel like I finally come up for air. Those bad things that happened to me, I mean, will happen to me. Like Raiden said, it's going to be different. Isn't this good news? The things that happened to my dad, that trauma he suffered, it's why my parents met. They fell in love while he was in recovery. If they don't happen, you and Mom may not meet. I may never be born. Jackie, I, I can't pretend I get all this cosmic time stuff. But I do know you are here for a reason. You're not just some random accident. I hope so.
Shang Tsung's island. Here we go again. I was here for the tournament. There were people everywhere. These guys looked a lot younger. Seems like only yesterday. <sighs> Guess after Shang Tsung died, this place did too. Nobody's home. So much for needing stealth. Should have brought the whole squad. Kinda hoping Raiden is wrong about the Well of Souls. I don't want to be here longer than we... Multiple contacts. How many? Two, but one of them circling us real fast. Give me 10 seconds with this guy. Jax Briggs. We were partners under Quan Chi's command. You'll join me again. Got the wrong Jax. I haven't been a revenant, and I never huh. will. <laughs> Times are changing, Cabal. I'll take the speed free. We buried you in the nether realm. You a glutton for punishment? It's only you and me this time. There's no castle to bury me under. Think that hurt? You have no idea. <laughs> I'm guessing that hurt worse. Kronika's work. Disturb. Try ending. You're done messing with the Well of Souls. You're not as strong as you think, Jax. As I recall, Sindel made quick work of you. I'll take the lady in green. Time when you knew to fight for, but between Quan Chi and Kronika, your mind ain't right. I joined Raiden against Shao Kahn. He led me to my doom. Now Raiden leads you there too.
I'll take my chances with Raiden. Enough dancing with the dead. Raiden said this well of souls would be underground. This way. This is Goro's lair? Thankfully, mine is Goro. Shang Tsung kept me locked up here, back at my first tournament. Never thought I'd be back. Remember where a well of souls might be? I couldn't tell you. I was pretty beat up. It's all a bit hazy. I'm guessing this is it. That crown. Five bucks says it's Chronicles. It's drawing swords from the well. There's no way that thing's unguarded. Let's grab and go before whoever is on duty gets back. That is? The first Sub-Zero. Scorpion ripped out his spine, left it in a heap upstairs in Shang Tsung's old throne room. An event of the new era will wipe from history. Hang on, Jackie. I got this. <laughs> Got that right. I'm just that tough. Guess Ermac's not the only one who's weak. Come on, let's get that thing and get out of here. Enough of this new era crap. You're not rewriting history. Victors write history, and I do not know. <laughs> Who's writing history now? Come on, let's get that thing and get out of here.
mind alone. Dad? How do you get here? I'll give you one guess. Dad, your... your arms. Those look like Kronika's design. What are you doing? Giving you the life you deserve. By destroying the universe? Restarting it, not destroying it. Being a revenant. The years I lost. The things I did. Your ma held me together. But I was never the father you needed. You're talking nonsense, man. You raised a fine daughter. She's one hell of a soldier. She shouldn't have been a soldier. I never wanted you out there taking those risks. If I hadn't fallen apart, you wouldn't have felt the need to enlist. That's not why I do this, Dad. Please! Give that crown to me. I don't want to hurt anybody. This is seriously messed up. Hang back, kid. I know I wouldn't want to fight my dad. How about we keep this between me, myself, and I? Never thought I'd stoop so low. You don't know how bad it gets. Losing your arms was just the beginning. I know you suffered. You still do. But you don't betray your unit. And you sure as hell don't betray your family. Time's up, punk. There's got to be a way to make this right. He's out, but he'll recover. How are you? Tripping. You? Ditto. We can't leave him. Let's get him and the Crown out of here. If I never come back here, it'll be too soon. I heard that. Mortal! Surrender Kronika's crown and the Elder Jackson Briggs. No harm will come to you. No deal. We know you betrayed the Elder God, Cetrion. Kronika must restore the balance that Raiden destroyed. Can you not see? He is the devil in these matters. At least he's the devil we know. Can we take an Elder God? Cassie beat Shinnok. Only because the cages are born with crazy magic powers. Maybe we have our own magic. Stand down, please. Resistance only ensures your suffering. What are you doing? Stand back. Don't know what this thing will do. That crown is meant for Kronika. Your human physiology cannot control its power. Only got to wear this thing long enough to beat you. Mission accomplished. I can't let you do I'm not discussing it. My mind is too frail to wield Kronika's weapon. For your own safety, remove it. It's not time for safety. It's time for action. Eat your heart out, Cassie Cage. cannot control the crown. I did not wish to harm you, but now you have forced my hand.
the hell are you doing? Give me the crown, and I will spare her. Don't! Don't give it to her! Go! Her life is in your hands. Nobody here wants to hurt anyone. Now please, don't let this happen to our girl. Damn it. Now bring Jackie back. Dad, how could you do this to me? I'm not doing this to you, Jackie. I'm doing it for you. I love you. Kronika awaits our return. Come on. This fight isn't over. This will bring us our deliverance. Thank you, both of you. I sense apprehension, Jackson Briggs. I'm not usually surrounded by so many friendly faces. We are unlikely allies, united for a common cause. Worry not. Liu Kang, Kitana, are the armies assembled? They're en route. Kitana and I will see that they arrive as planned. Excellent. As my strength gathers, the new era draws ever closer. The report from Jacqueline Briggs. Her father's actions have compromised our situation gravely. I know. I can't... I can't believe he did this. Even if we locate her keep, Kronika's power now likely exceeds the might of our combined forces. Maybe we should rethink using Shinnok's amulet. We cannot, Cassandra Cage. I've seen what you can do with it. You held off the entire Netherrealm army. You weren't even at full strength. I dare not risk the temptations of its dark power. Even now it calls to me. Despite Kronika's advantages, we must attack as soon as we know the Keep's location. It's been hours since we heard from the Grand Masters. What's the plan if they don't come back? They must, or else hope is lost. Fleet's bound to Cardon. It sails only by his command. That it's still moored suggests he won't help Kronika. In which case, he may help us. Looks like Cardon is home. 
Perhaps hosting some unwelcome guests. Return to Earthrealm. Tell the others we found him. We'll deploy as soon as I return. Are you certain Karan will aid us? No, but he's our best chance. This one ensures the Hive's survival. You will not save the Shirai Ryu. The Shirai Ryu will not fall. The clan of imposters will indeed fall. I've restored the Shirai Ryu. Built a clan that's never been stronger. On a foundation of pretenders and outsiders, Kronika told me. Shirai Ryu. Our clan's massacre extinguished them. Kronika will revive the true Shirai Ryu in the new era. Do not trust Kronika. She uses your anger to enslave you. As Quan Chi did both of us. I let go my rage, and it saved me. To save yourself, you must do the same. It's past time you were freed. We both know what truly drives you. It's not Shirai Ryu pride. It's your wife and child. Harumi and Satoshi were stolen from me. Murdered. Seeing them again is all that matters. We share this pain. I fought through hell to end it. But Kronika's new era is not the remedy. She would resurrect Shinnok, the same devil who brought death to our family and clan. He cannot be allowed to return. When I revived the Shirai Ryu, I vowed our clan would ensure Earthrealm's protection. Help me keep that promise.
Your Shaolin masters, they're ready. They will fight until the last man. That is likely what it will take. There will not be a fight if Karon does not help us. Is there any word from Grandmaster Hasashi? No. If we do not hear soon, I will return to the Nether Realm. Wrong Scorpion. This cannot be good. Get Raiden. The Fire Gardens. They built. The Shirai Ryu are indeed restored. Why are you here, Scorpion? Where is Grandmaster Hasashi? He is dead. Now you have come to finish us. I understand your mistrust, but I am here to assist you. I find that impossible to believe. Fight. Scorpion. My future self is dead. I am here at his behest. Grandmaster Hasashi sent you. I honor his dying wish. Karan will ferry your armies to the Isle of Kronika. We must leave at once. Do you have proof of Karan's offer? Only my word. Your word is worthless. At the tournament, I trusted you to spare Bihan, and you betrayed me. A mistake born of rage. I seek redemption. Lie, Scorpion! You are a slave, and Kronika is your master! Fight! <laughs> Listen. Spout your falsehoods elsewhere, Scorpion. Kronika will not entrap us. It is no trap. Karan awaits you in the Nether Realm. Lord Raiden, we should listen. He may be telling the truth. There is only one way to find out. Raiden, stop this! Step aside, Liu Kang. Put down the amulet. Its darkness is taking hold of you. Our time has run out. I do what I must to save Earthrealm. Stay down! This is not the way. Scorpion is not the enemy this time. Liu Kang, do not interfere! <laughs> Not force my hand, Liu Kang. The realms hang in the balance. To defend them, I must command order. I thought it impossible, but the revenants were right. You cannot be trusted. I do not need trust. I demand obedience. Enough of your madness. If you must die, so be it. This, this has happened before. Interfere. You cannot fight Shao Kahn. <laughs> Liu Kang, stop! Enough of your madness. If you must die, so be it. <laughs>
I have been a fool, Liu Kang. Kronika's puppet. We only battle because she wills it. I must help him. I was wrong to doubt you. I too have been a slave to anger. I do not understand, Lord Raiden. Your rage was caused by Kronika? Yes. I succumbed to her influence. But then, our confrontation, it unlocked memories. Memories not only from this timeline, but from timelines that have come before. Wait a sec, timelines? Plural? Kronika has restarted time on countless previous occasions, using each timeline to learn and to perfect her plan. The details of each timeline are different, but in each one, events conspire to bring Liu Kang and I into conflict. In each one, he dies. Only Kronika has such power to control time and fate. I don't get it. Why do that? I do not know. But be assured, Kronika will control us no longer. At long last, you see the pattern. The pattern, but not the purpose. Why set me against Liu Kang? Is it not obvious? Your combined power threatens my vision for the timeline. Liu Kang and I will not be divided further by your machinations. <laughs> oh, Raiden. Do you think this is the first time you made that vow? We have repeated this exact conversation so often in so many timelines. I've lost count. This timeline will end differently. We have played out all possible scenarios, Raiden. You cannot win. You are welcome to try, of course. But without Liu Kang by your side. Enjoy these final hours, Raiden. They are all you have. Liu Kang! Where is he? Kronika has taken him to her isle. We must leave immediately to save the realms. We must save Liu Kang. A new look? Just for me? You shouldn't have. What do you want from me? You will aid in my protection. Not likely. I have mastered Shinnok's sorcery. I will add your soul strength to mine, and finally avenge myself upon Raiden. My friends, Raiden's armies are coming. They will fight us, and they will lose.
Silica's Isle lies beyond the fog. cannot fight a war. This fleet is under my protection. If Karan falls, our fleet cannot sail. Protect him at all costs. Ramming speed! Jackie's sake and mine. Kronika's promises to you are a cruel deception. She is the mother of Shinnok, the architect of your revenant enslavement. But... No. She's Cetrion's mother. Cetrion is Shinnok's sister. In Kronika's new era, Shinnok will be the darkness to balance Cetrion's light. Which will only happen if the realms keep on fighting each other. What have I done? I'm a fool. It is not foolish to fight for your family's betterment. I'm sorry, Raiden. I promise to make this right. Impossible. Yours. Inevitable. Your fate is decided. I will suffer you no more. unfortunate for you. The sea of blood is bottomless. You will fall forever. Yeah! Now do I have your attention, Raiden? 
The warriors sinking your fleet are under my command. You have made a devil's bargain with Kronika, Frost. You ignored me my entire life. Kronika saw my talent from the start. <laughs> Envy and ambition consume you. Such wasted potential. The good she could have done in command of these Cyber Lin Kuei. She commands them, not Sector. If so, she is linked to them. They follow her thoughts. Then let them follow her to defeat. Time after time, Kronika's schemes have pitted us against each other. That cycle must end, Liu Kang. This time it will! Your power? Is this Kronika's gift? A gift to myself, say. You stole your own soul, perverted your own nature. It's a lesson you taught me, Raiden. To fight my enemies by any means necessary. I have conquered the darkness within me. You must do the same. You will have to kill me. I would rather save you.
What happened to Raiden? He is part of me. Bound to my soul. He... made me a god. For now, at least. A god? Incredible. Now he's out of her league. My revenant counterpart. I have absorbed his knowledge of the Keep, of Kronika's plan. I know where to find the Hourglass. We can beat Kronika. Out of desperation comes invention. I had not thought it possible for Raiden to surprise me. Our success is no longer certain. We must make haste. I'm sorry, Jackie. And hell yeah, I'm back.
Stand back. prevent Liu Kang's interference, but you will require more assistance. Whatever happens, I am honored to fight at your side. Likewise, Liu Kang. Me too, brother. May the Elder Gods protect us. Combining with Raiden has the benefit of novelty, but it is also too little, too late. Realm's Jinsei flows within you. Let it fuel your fire.
stand down. I have no wish to harm you. Harm me? You already killed me! My fate was sealed the moment I joined you at Raiden's side. It's a mistake I won't repeat in the new era. <laughs> Our bond was no mistake. Your ego knows no bounds. I did not ask for this. It was thrust upon me. It should have been me, Liu Kang, from the beginning. Thanks to Kronika, it will be. <laughs> Still, you are alive. Yes, Kronika. You are right to fear mine and Raiden's powers combined. A demigod's power cannot rival that of an elder god. Cetrion! As you wish, mother. battle, Cetrion. You fight for your mother's vision. But as a goddess of virtue, you know that her desired balance is folly. Heed me, Cetrion. He lacks our vision and wisdom. Please. No virtue is served by condemning the realms to endless war. The greatest virtue is abiding my mother's will, Liu Kang. I cannot fail her. Fight! betrays you, Cetrion. I have failed you. Dearest Cetrion, you have done admirably. Yet there is one final service to perform. Yes, Mother. I understand.
The realms will not fight your endless wars. Fight me further and your friends are lost. They have no future unless I create it. The future you offer is not worth living. It will not come to pass. Fight! <laughs> is finished, Liu Kang. Lord Raiden. I am merely Raiden now. You have proven worthy to take my place as Earthrealm's new protector, Lord Liu Kang. Where do we go from here? The sands of time are yours to shape. You must return the hourglass to the dawn of time and sculpt a new history, a better one. The fate of all realms in my hands? Raiden, I cannot do this alone. Yes, you will need a partner with whom you can share the eons. Kitana. Your destinies have always been intertwined. We are far in the past but not so far that I cannot reach her. Return with her to the dawn of time. Sculpt the hourglass's sands to forge a better future. I look forward to meeting again in the next timeline. Then I will not say goodbye. Are you ready? Yes. But no matter how we sculpt the sands, we cannot plan for every possibility. Mortals will make their own choices. New evils will arise. Each realm must choose its own destiny. Whatever those choices, we will face them together. Once I gained the Hourglass, my first thought was to rewrite history and redeem the Lin Kuei's honor. But then I thought of Bihan, his life consumed by evil. Before I could redeem my clan, I had to redeem my brother. With the Hourglass, I wound back time to our childhood. I studied every second of Bihan's life to understand why. Why he embraced Sector's corruption. Why he reveled in the vile power given to him by Quan Chi. Armed with that knowledge, I re-sculpted the sands of time. I changed Bihan's life and unfroze his heart. Now we are comrades, not rivals. 
Together, as joint Grand Masters, we lead the Lin Kuei in defense of Earthrealm. I made my future self a promise that I would not stay mired in the past. But once I controlled the Hourglass, I could not keep that promise. I had to restore my family. Over and over, I crafted the sands of time. Yet in every new timeline, my family's tragedy repeated. I was powerless to change it. After eons, I learned the truth. Kronika was not alone. She was one of many titans, each more powerful and ancient than the Elder Gods. It is they who conspire against us. Myself, my family, we are pawns in their game. Why? I do not know. But I will find out. And then, I will have vengeance. What does it mean to wield the sands of time? To be the chosen one? It means making choices that break your heart. For the protection of all, I shared Kronika's power with the people I trust and love most. Together, we replaced the Elder Gods that Cetrion had betrayed and became eternal guardians of the realms. Still, my heart longs for a simpler life. The kind one cannot have being the Chosen One, let alone an Elder God. What Kitana and I would not give for those simple pleasures. Hmm. Perhaps in another timeline, they could be ours. Kronika had manipulated me. In timeline after timeline, she stoked my anger and fed my arrogance, turning me against Liu Kang. My nose rubbed in my own fallibility. I was humbled. How could I be worthy to accept the mantle as Keeper of Time? I thought that to control time and destiny fairly, I must purge myself of all human emotion. Summoning the strongest magic, I burned away my fear and anger. All that remained was pure logic. But I learned quickly that the logical choice is often not the just choice. Unless tempered by compassion and heart, logic leads to decisions no better than those based on anger or fear. Now I am once more at time's beginning. But on this journey through history, I will infuse logic with love. In this timeline, I will finally achieve peace for the citizens of all realms. This whole adventure, capital I insane. I marry Sonia? I have a kid who actually likes me? Inquiring minds want to know how the hell that happens. So I get the hourglass to show me how kicking Shinnok's ass, which I did beautifully, turned me from Hollywood megastar into global icon. So far, so good. Until I let that fame screw me up. Didn't hit rock bottom until I saw just how badly I'd let down my little girl. I finally got what old man me was saying about needing humility and maturity. But I also knew I couldn't get there without living the same life he did. So, I restored the timeline just as it was. With one tiny little difference. Sonya's story won't end underneath the rubble of some busted up nether realm castle. Because Johnny Cage flicks always have happy endings. said I would lead the new era's deadliest clan, but she made such promises to many, she could never keep them all. So I betrayed her before she could betray me. 
When Krotika Sands fused with my shadows, my ambitions grew. Why be a ruler of mortals when I could rule destiny itself? Mortals resisted, but could not stop my blanketing history in cold, endless night. All is dark. All are shadows. I have had many names. Now I am become death, destroyer of worlds. I conquered history like I conquered realms, merging billions of potential timelines into a singularity. The universe has been remade in my image, and all is as it should be. The weak serve the strong. The strong compete for power, wealth, and my favor in mortal combat. For centuries, the tournament's champion has gone undefeated. That champion is me! Hail the Conqueror! Hail Shao Kahn! <laughs> Of course I defeated Kronika, and when I did, there was only one thing I wanted to do with the Hourglass. Undo the defeat of my ancestor, the Great Kung Lao. In my timeline, the Great Kung Lao is the undisputed Mortal Kombat champion. Earthrealm never loses another tournament. For generations, his example inspires millions to join the White Lotus Society and defend Earthrealm. They, in turn, inspire rebels to overthrow Shao Kahn in Outworld. The realms make peace. Until, inevitably, a more powerful enemy comes along and finds Earthrealm backed by Kung Lao, immortal lord of time and warrior supreme. Beat that, Liu Kang. None of us saw Kronika coming, not even Raiden. But with the hourglass, I can see every terror in the realms. Any sane person would run screaming at the sight of them. It's my duty to take out these ancient, all-powerful beings. But to do that, I need an elite squad of immortal gods. Turns out, to make a new god, you've got to destroy an old one. So I hunt the oldest I can find, an omni-deity from a forgotten, unpronounceably named realm. It's the fight of my life, but I've got something this god doesn't. Family. In my past, these were the people who mattered most. Now, they're my god squad. My daughter, my brother in arms, my goddaughter. <sighs> yep, even Johnny. But only because Cassie insisted. And maybe I missed him a little. Just don't let him know that. Of all his daughters, Shao Kahn made me deadliest. He pulled me from the gutter bound me to the blood code, made me fight for recognition. Perhaps he will commend me when I bind the blood code to the sands of time. Now a blood god, I demand more than Shao Kahn's recognition. I demand worship. I'll have temples. Ministers, acolytes, prayers, and sacrifices. Rivers of blood shed in my name, purging heretics who dare to reject me. <laughs> How proud Shao Kahn is now. How proud and how obedient. 
for the only thing better than my master's recognition is to make him beg for mine. All will worship me, or there will be blood. Though I first denied their truth, eventually I realized the wisdom of Liu Kang's words. There is virtue greater than my mother's desired balance. Good must be allowed to flourish. But no matter how I reshaped time, rooting out evil proved impossible. Though freed from want, mortals still killed each other. Divided by realm and race, they easily justified their hate. Hubris, greed, envy. To appreciate my gifts, mortal sins must be cleansed. Which is why I baptize the realms with fire. For eons, mortals will battle evil, eventually achieving victory. And when they emerge from the darkness, they will be humbled, eager to embrace the light. Truth be told, it surprised me, putting down Kronika. <laughs> Not bad for a scrawny kid from Wicket. Now that it's done, now what? I don't cotton to being Lord of Time, stuck on some island at the edge of nowhere. No, Aaron Black likes being in the thick of it. Seems to me time ought to stay all mashed up. It's been a hell of a ride. Gotta keep these thrills coming. Which means making sure no one gets a chance to screw this up. Once the hourglass gets dumped in the sea of blood, ain't no one ever shaping history again. What happens next? <laughs> Hell if I know. And that's just the way I like it. As I gazed upon the hourglass, I knew what I must do. Restore my homeland Adinia to existence. Experiencing Adinia's verdant lands for the first time, I've never felt such joy. <laughs> but that joy was short-lived. Adinia's traditions, its languages, its culture, all were completely foreign, having been forbidden to me by Shao Kahn. I fit in with my people no better than a Tarkatan. The truth was hard. Though Adinian by blood, I am not an Adinian. I am an Outworlder. Not only that, I am Outworld's Khan. I will use ancient Adinian teachings to make myself a better sovereign. With them, I will fulfill my life's mission to better all of Outworld's people, including Adinia. Kronika made big promises. Not big enough, though, for what my people suffered. Our hands built the Colosseum, the palace. We were slaves. We served or we died. Every coin I took from Shao Kahn's tribute, Outworld owed my people. Not that my Naknaran brothers and sisters joined arms to help me, no. Every great treasure I have won, I have won myself. I do not wait for handouts. I take what I desire. That is why I am now Khan. Nether Realm, Earth Realm, Order Realm, Chaos Realm. I want them all. And I will take them by right of mortal combat. <laughs> In her last moments, Kronika tried to tempt me. Spare her, and she would rewrite history. With Jade as my queen, I would rule an eternal Oshtek empire that spanned all the realms. 
But Kronika never understood the Oshtek heart. Our lives are cloth, woven from choice and circumstance. Pull even one thread, that cloth is torn asunder and made worthless. Now that I am tasked with keeping time, others beg me to have their histories rewritten. But as long as the hourglass is mine, I will not shape destiny in any one being's favor. History will play out as determined by its players. Let the sands fall where they may. Sub-Zero dismissed me. Raiden dismissed me. They all did, even Kronika. Until I froze the smug looks off all their faces and became the Lin Kuei's new Grand Master. The Hourglass offers even greater prospects. With it, I'll mold history to carve my name on everyone's lips. But even its power has limits. My vision can be upended by people's individual choices. Unlike Kronika, I won't let these imperfections fester until time itself must be restarted. The Lin Kuei will be my time warriors. Traveling through history, they'll get rid of those whose actions threaten my vision. From now on, no one will overlook my greatness. I'll never be dismissed again. Kronika's power was mine. Mine to share with the tribe. In the new timeline I built, Tarkatans would be slaves no more. We would rule. We easily took Adenia, then Outworld and the Netherrealm. Last, we challenged Earthrealm in mortal combat. Within a thousand years, all realms fell to Tarkatan blades, and we have not run out of meat since. <laughs> Kronika's endless cycle of rewinding and restarting timelines had destroyed my spirit. But she refused to grant me either freedom or death. So I took her power to do what she could not. I would create one final perfect timeline. Then I would rest. But the task was more difficult than I imagined. Mortals refused to follow the paths I set for them. Timeline after timeline, my frustration grew. I began to understand why Kronika had been driven to madness. Perhaps mortals do not need a lord of time. I will sacrifice my body and my mantle to re-sculpt the sand so that the hourglass runs itself. And for the first time in all eternity, I can rest in peace. For the second time in my life, I kicked the living shit out of an immortal. My prize? The hourglass. Now I can change history. Talk about redonkulous cosmic power. But despite what you may think about Beverly Hills Girls, that is so not my style. The chosen one thing is for the Liu Kangs and Katanas of the world. In the next timeline, all I want is to be a model soldier, to command the next generation of special forces. We were born to defend Earthrealm. Just like the heroes that inspired me. My parents. Okay, so there's one more thing I want. My mom back. Not just for me, but for Dad. He and my mom deserve a happily ever after retirement. <laughs> we'll never know how different things were the last time around. But we'll be together. A family. And that's all that matters. All I wanted was to fix my life. Now I have the power to fix history. Raiden warns me, I can't fix everything. Change too much and I could lose Vera, lose Jackie. But this power is bigger than us. 
if I think only about helping myself. What kind of officer am I? What kind of man? I've been lucky. My family and I have lived the American dream. But most people who look like me haven't had that chance. I owe it to them to put things right. And I'm not waiting centuries for people to get woke when I've got the power to speed things up. I don't get it right the first time, or the second, or even the third, but eventually, I knock it out of the damn park. My family's back. The world's a better place for everyone. Turns out, you can have everything. Anyone who says you can't needs to dream bigger. Shit sounds cool, right? The power to control time, immortality, destiny. Well, let me tell you, this job sucks. There's no pay, no weekends, and your shift lasts forever. The only smart play is to turn back time and give it back to Kronika. Bet your ass she's grateful, too. I didn't ask her for much. Just a chance to take out anyone who's ever tried to burn me. Black Dragon was always more of a gig than a brotherhood anyway. Now I get to live large, enjoying the simple life of a well-to-do family man. And if Shao Kahn or Shinnok ever come knocking, my family and I'll take them down. Just like I took down Shinnok's mom. <laughs> I'd cut a lot of deals, but none spiffier than this. I spared Kronika, and she gave up the hourglass. The power to shape time and history to my liking? Oh, oh, oh fuck yeah. In the having, it was in the getting. So, I changed things up one more time. Now, what I want is always just out of reach. I gotta earn it. I score lots of wins, but not always. And when I do win, <laughs> it's something to savor. The hourglass was there for the taking, and I could think of only one thing Dad. Killed. Made a revenant. Resurrected. Since coming back, Dad's never forgotten the things he did for Quan Chi. I thought with the hourglass, I could fix all that. And I can. Dad won't die in that massacre. He'll never be a revenant. But turns out, what my guts told me since the start of all of this is true. Dad and Mom got together when he was in treatment. He doesn't suffer, they don't meet, and I'll never be born. And you know what? I'm good with that. I'm not just protecting Dad. I'm protecting everyone he'll risk his life to save. In my shoes, it's what he would do. It's what a Briggs does. I know you'll never hear this, but... Goodbye, Dad. I love you. I held the power to shape time and destiny, but I was lost. Which Khan should be restored? My lover Kotal, or my loyal friend Katana? I heard Kotal's voice call out to me. Follow your heart, Jade. So I let my heart lead. And it took me to an unexpected place. A faint memory of home and... my mother. I restored my parents in Adenia, building a new era without Shao Kahn. And what a happy childhood I enjoyed. But as I matured, 
I sensed that I was no ordinary child. Kronika's power dwelled within me, calling me to a higher purpose. When I came of age, I ascended to godhood as the protector of Adenia. Armed with the knowledge of past timelines, I challenged Shinnok and Cetrion. Without Kronika's children pitting the realms against each other, all could be at peace. And remain so under my watchful eyes. Vermin. That is the humanoid word for the chitin and our fellow insectoids. But with the hourglass, this one can review history and give lie to that myth. Humanoids live to kill. Without a common enemy to fight, they divide, destroy each other. Insectoids live to survive. No conflicts divide us. We build upon each other. Kin does not kill kin. So tell this one, who are the vermin? Time for this one to write a more just history. One in which pesky humanoids finally take the places they deserve, scrambling beneath our feet. <laughs>